We're joined by Kyle Larson, driver of the number 42 Target Chevrolet for Chip Ganassi Racing. Busy week for you, Kyle. Uh, uh, great start at Knoxville. Now you're here at uh, the site of, of, of a racetrack that, that you're pretty good at. So uh, could you just walk us through your kind of your mindset going into this week? Yeah, it's already been a, a good week. Um, Monday, I uh, ran Oskaloosa and ran third. Wednesday, we won in Knoxville, and then um, you know, here we've been pretty decent in practice so far. Could use a little more speed. I feel like the handling is okay, um, but could use a little more speed. Um, and then, yeah, you know, it's uh, it's fun. Um, you know, Michigan is a, is a great track for us. We've won the last two times here. We've had some good runs before that as well. So um, have been off a little bit the last the last couple weeks, but uh, I'm excited to be back here at Michigan uh, where, we, where we do have success and um, can hopefully run good and get that momentum back. And um, then, yeah, you know, Chips, Chips allow me to go to Knoxville on uh, or yet or tomorrow, uh, which is which is great. So I'll get to go uh, compete in the A main there, and then come back and try and go for for three in a row here. So um, cool weekend for me, and really excited for it. Awesome, we'll be pulling for you tomorrow night. Let's go ahead and open the floor for questions. Raise your hand. We'll start with Kelly, and we'll come up here to Matt. KellyCrandallRacer.com. Uh, Kyle, you mentioned it's been a rough couple of weeks. How much has that just been bad luck or performance and any concerns that you're kind of losing a little bit of momentum going into the playoffs? Yeah, you know, we've had um, probably more bad luck than bad runs. Uh, I, you know, I think Indy, we were, we were pretty good at, probably fourth or fifth best car, and then same at Pocono, but we uh, broke a drive shaft at Pocono and got in a wreck um, at Indy. Um, Watkins Glen, we were definitely not very good, I didn't think. Um, I don't maybe missing a race in there somewhere, but um, yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's just part of it. You know, it's it's hard to, to have a, a perfect season and, and be fast every week, but um, we, we've, our team is, is excited about the race car we've got here this weekend. They've found a lot of stuff in the wind tunnel um, earlier this week, so happy about that. Car felt good, like I said, in practice, so hopefully we can you know, make a solid weekend, have no mistakes, and, and go for a, a third win. Okay, we're going to go to Matt, then to Tyler, and then to Wolfgang. Yeah, I'm curious how you, how you talked Chip into it. Can you describe, I mean, did you call him, text him, email him? How did that go? Uh, well, um, I didn't know he was going to be in Detroit yesterday with us, a part of the, the unveiling of the 2008 Chevy uh, Camaro Z01, so that was cool. But um, I rode back with him uh, to the airport, and uh, we talked about it a little bit. Um, he voiced his concerns about it, but uh, I think, you know, I think more than me asking, I, I feel like Steve Letta and, and John Olging at our, at our race shop probably had the the most impact probably on me being able to run, so um, got to thank them, but ultimately it's it's all Chip's decision, so um, I, I know my fans really appreciate it, uh, all, my, all my sprint car fans and NASCAR fans. Um, so Chip's a, a hero today in this weekend, so um, I appreciate it. Yep. We'll go next to Tyler, then to Wolfgang. Tyler, we're at MRN. Uh, biggest challenge this weekend, holding off shots tomorrow or winning this race in Michigan? <laughs> Equal, I would say. Um, you know, to win a cup race is extremely tough, so... Um, yeah, first off, I'd probably say Michigan uh, would be tough, um, and to go for three in a row, especially with how fast uh, the Gibbs cars seem to be, and, and also Blaney this weekend seems to be really fast. So, yeah, it, it, both races will be really tough uh, to beat Donnie and Gravel from the front row. Um, that'll be that'll be tough as well. But I feel like I feel like if we get to traffic, I could um, compete with them and, and try and get a win. Go next to Wolfgang, then to Brian. Um, Kyle, it's a big challenge to drive here and then also in Knoxville, but I think even a bigger challenge is the travel arrangement. Can you give some more details how you make the travel organization, traveling from here to Knoxville and back? And what's the schedule in Knoxville? Who is qualifying your car if you're not there? Uh, there's no qualifying on Saturday. I, I ran my qualifying night on Wednesday, so I'm locked in the feature. I start ninth. But um, as far as travel goes, we were going to take uh, Casey's plane, uh, but now it looks like to save us all some money, um, Richard Marshall uh, and Priority Aviation that's on the sprint car uh, this weekend in Knoxville, they're going to 
or he's going to help out with with his plane to get us back and forth. So, um, you know, got to thank him as well. Um, it's it's only a, a little over an hour flight, I think. Um, and you know, I don't, uh, I probably don't even get on track until eight thirty or nine o'clock on Saturday. So, uh, the logistics part of it's not that tricky and and not that stressful either. So, uh, my morning on Sunday, well, I don't even do anything until about eleven thirty in the morning. So. Uh, I'll still be able to get plenty of sleep and, and be ready for Sunday. Brian? Brian Nelson with MRN. So with two wins here and one at Auto Club Speedway, very similar tracks, what is it about the two-mile D-ovals that works so well for you? Yeah, I don't know. Um, you know, these are two-mile tracks, Michigan and, and Fontana, but they're they're both totally different just um, based off the the pavement. Um, Fontana is really wore out um, and, and here has got a lot of grip and, and a lot of speed but uh, for whatever reason our, our setups seem to be pretty good at both of these places so um, our team's done a great job uh, with the with the our you know high downforce cars and I think that pays off when you get to mile and a half and two mile tracks and we seem to have definitely hit on something for here um, especially and Fontana. Additional questions here for Kyle. Going once, going twice. Tyler? Yeah, just along the lines of next week, um, Bristol, one of your favorite racetracks. Can you tell us uh, what it's going to be like to go back there? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I always uh, – Bristol is probably my favorite racetrack, um, and then Homestead would be my, my best racetrack. Um, but, yeah, I always look forward to going there. It's uh, – Kind of like a 500 mile sprint car race um just to how aggressive it is and you know slide jobs and run on the top run on the bottom you know the with the vht on the bottom now you got multiple lanes you can run uh traffic is intense um it's just a you know a lot of these tracks you go to you can kind of you know ride a little bit um throughout the middle portions of the race but bristol you're you're on edge the whole time racing hard and and it makes it a lot of fun so um our race cars are, are pretty good at Bristol. Could probably be a little bit better on the long run stuff. Um, as, I feel like as the race goes on at Bristol, I'll, and Bristol and the track takes more rubber, I tend to slow down and become more even with people. So if we can figure out how to keep the front tires on it for a long run and stay turning, I'll be pretty good. Sure. Jerry Jordan, kick the tires on that PRN. After Bristol, you have an off week. Uh, your, your thoughts on that? Uh, you got any plans uh, in more racing? What are you, what are you gonna do? No, we're um, – so Wednesday night was supposed to be my last sprint car race um, over the season, but now Saturday will be. So um, our off weekend, uh, we're going to go celebrate uh, Stenhouse's birthday a little bit early uh, in Tulum, I guess. I don't know where that is, but uh, we're going to go on vacation, and uh, that should be fun. I don't get to go on many vacations. Well, I mean, I go on lots of vacations, but uh, they're t typically spent at a dirt track. So this one will be spent with some, some sand – um and all that um i'm sure danica will probably go on some like yoga retreat or something but uh <laughs> we'll uh we'll be relaxing on the beach bob bob Parker, cspn i did want to check since you did you've hit your max of sprint car races right so was the issue with chip that you had already done your max or the or just racing on the saturday before a cup race I actually hadn't hit my max. Um, I had 24 races. I, I can run 25. I got 24 on my schedule. Um, so, because I'll run Turkey Night after um, after Homestead on Thanksgiving, and then I I kept some open to go to New Zealand and race. So I, I left one open just the kind of the way it worked out. And uh, so yeah, now with running Knox on Saturday, and, and if I get no rain outs, I'll be to my max by December 31st. So. Um, I don't remember the other part of your question. Well, so, it was, so it's the matter of racing on Saturday. Yeah, so like I, I can't my, – my deal with Chip is I can't race a sprint car or midget or anything really uh, the night before I'm on track. So like I couldn't have raced last night uh, in Knoxville and practiced today. That would have been um, against the, the contract. But that's why I ran Wednesday because um, I have to have an off day. So that's how it works out and uh i think it's fair and, and i still get to run a lot of races so um you know i'm thankful for for chip to even allow me to do what i get to do right now so um it's especially nice though that he's making a, an exception for saturday night just so that you're ready for Sunday. probably probably i i think uh i think that's got a impact on it um to be fresh but then also it kind of gives them if you know knock on wood but if i 
you know, if I got her to get some, you know, an extra day to find somebody and, and organize all that. All right, good. Ge Geography or Jerry Jordan. Any additional questions? Yeah, I got a passport. <laughs> good deal. Well, Kyle, good luck the rest of the weekend, and uh, good luck on Sunday.